Okay, here we are. We're testing a CMAX SMX digital view system for a dual station setup. And we have our main station harness here with our battery pack and our key switch and our NEMA 2000 connector here. This is going to output data to our NEMA network. Here's our main station display. And if you notice here, this is our this is our engine to main this is our engine to main station 30 foot harness there's our engine connection here so that's where we'll be testing uh, mimicking sender input to this connection all the way through here into the Y harness which you can see has a blue and yellow uh, piece of tape on it yellow being the main station okay here's our main station Okay, blue is our second station, so we have a connection. We're going to run 20 feet up to the flybridge of the boat. And at the top of the boat, we're going to have a start and stop button and another display that's going to read information from our main station display. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook up our power supply. We're going to attach our power to the red wire and our ground here okay just like we'd have power on the engine to the instruments we'll go ahead and give ourselves 12 volts okay and we notice we already have the key on so our voltage is coming up right now we have no sender input through the instruments or harnessing so we'll notice that the oil pressure is pegged coolant temp is basically at the minimum which is 100 degrees. I also notice that the upper station gauge is also matching that. So what we like to do just to test to make sure the senders are working is we just use a standard little Radio Shack resistor to mimic uh, a sending unit. Now that's obviously a fixed value but we just want to know that the screen is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay so we'll bring that lead here I can get it out. There it is. This is going to be like our sending unit, okay? So, what color is oil pressure? That is our blue wire, okay? So let's hook up a sending unit to our blue wire right here. And we'll make sure that the screen is reading that value, and it is. Upper station is just catching up. Okay, it's reading zero pounds. It's not happy. It's throwing an alarm. Okay, now I'm going to take take it off, let it peg. Okay. And there goes our alarm. Now let's do the same thing for coolant temp, which is our blue, our brown wire. Okay. We'll notice we're getting a high coolant alarm on both screens. Okay, we'll go ahead and take that off. There we go. That's coming down. This is also coming down. Okay. So, our harnessing's good. Our uh, sending units are, is good. Let's test the start-stop circuit and make sure that's going well. We'll use a voltmeter here just to make sure we're getting voltage to the right pin when we want to start the engine. Okay, that's our yellow wire with the red stripe. That's, uh, let's see here. That's this guy here. Okay, you'll notice we have barely any voltage there. Let's go ahead and hit the start button. Alright, we got power. Now, can we also start the engine from the key switch at the main station? Let's see. There we go. So the key switch works. The upper station engine start works. Let's test the engine stop. We know that right now we have power on ignition, which is our purple wire. So if we go here, we should see power there. We do. We have power there. The engine is going to be able to run. Okay, once we take power away from that circuit, the engine should stop. Okay, so I'm going to press this red button here to stop the engine. And you'll see, voltage goes down to zero. We're good, engine will stop. 
okay the instruments will still stay illuminated okay this is a successful test of our dual station mechanical engine digital view setup